Okay, if you could make your way to your seats, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Can you please make your way to your seats, please? We need to start. Thank you. Okay, so up next, I have Nabil Zanian, yes? <laughs> um, and I'll let Nabil introduce himself. Is already starting now? When you're ready. When I'm ready. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Sweet. Awesome. All right. I'm ready to go, yeah. All right, so my uh, business I'm going to be starting is White Crow Music Limited, and here are some contact details for you. So if I'm lucky, then I'll be spending the rest of the um, talk to show you some of my music exclusively. But what is White Crow Music Limited? It's an online beat store, and I'm going to be selling uh, beats from the genre hip-hop and sub-genres as well. The funding will be used only for marketing the brand, as everything else has already been taken care of. Currently, I'm the director of the company, the only member as well. I'm a second year audio music production student from Munich, Germany, and I've been producing for 2010, so seven years. The flaws with the competition are that they have subpar knowledge of mixing and mastering beats, which um, is an issue. On top of that, they also are considered bedroom producers as the workspace they work in is poorly treated, and this causes an issue because they're delivering products to customers which uh, do not show the full potential of the customer. And uh, on the right, I've shown some uh, information where this is uh, stated in further detail. Now, the solution is Ycro Music Limited because we've been uh, mixing and mastering for over four years, and we're also doing a two-year related degree in university to further our knowledge. On top of that, we have the professional equipment at our disposal, so all of the flaws that the competition have, we're sort of alleviating those. Um, our unique selling point is that we're the future of music as being young. I understand what the issue is, I understand the trends in the music genre, and on top of that, we also understand uh, what makes a product industry standard. So in terms of finance, uh, a beat will be sold for 19.95, as that is the uh, standard for such pricing. Um, we're looking at around 20,000 in the second year, 44,000 in the third year, with the, um, with the numbers shown in the table to the left. And on the right, we have the graph showing when we are expecting the most sales. And this will be during festive times or as festive times as approaching, so that artists can use the festive times to promote their own music on top. So market research is 
that the target customer is 16 to 25 year old male from urban areas in the USA. However, we will also be looking at other areas in the world. This is just where the most people will be. And last year, people spent around 15.5 uh, billion US dollars overall in this market and 2.5 billion alone in the US, uh, in the UK. So that's why we believe that this is not only a sustainable business, but on top of that, it, there's also a demand for it as well. So now I'd like to quickly show you an exclusive audio preview of some of the music we create. Okay, Neville, sorry, we're tired. No problem. That's so fine. Gonna That's absolutely <laughs> fine. Don't worry. Yes. Maybe we'll have more time after, uh, after the actual questionnaire. Could it be on in the background while we ask the questions? Uh, if, if, you, if you'd like that, yes, please be my guest. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't really understand exactly what the business is. How you're sending these beats to these. Yes, so um, exactly. So this is all going to be an online uh, service, uh, instant purchasing. So it's an online store which is going to be used as a social media hub for all of the other social media of the business. And once people go on the website, they will find a, uh, a player with all of the beats that we sell. And all it really takes is just click the purchase button then proceed with accepting terms and conditions, go to PayPal, and once that's done, it's going to be an instant download, and then the, from there on, the customer is free to go. No, that does happen. It is a very common thing. However, the market is oversaturated with people who don't actually know what they're doing, and uh, a lot of people who don't actually understand the technical aspects of creating music. And uh, this is where we come in, and we hope to actually change that and have people uh, work with products which also truly show and reflect uh, their professionality. Do you, so do you make all the beats? Yes, everything is self-made. And yours, your, so, what, so what was your background in beat production again? Um, my, my background is that I've been, well, I've been making rap music for six years. And then from then I've proceeded to doing beats and through that I've actually also understood the flaws as well in terms of the technical aspect, um, which is really apparent once I've actually used my own beats, you really do hear a difference. I have an audio preview for one of the songs I'm working with someone on and uh, if you'd like I could possibly show that to you afterwards to really um, show exactly what I mean and that's sort, of, that's sort of where it's at. Do you sell your stuff at the moment? At the moment, I don't sell my stuff, but I am working with uh, one artist who's signed to ER Records and another artist who's about to be signed to Warner Bros. So what's, I mean, sorry, what's, how is it, how have we been subjective there in terms of what's really good and how, how, because obviously you're there saying is that you've been yeah. doing it for a hot minute and you've been making yeah. these, but how, how can, as a user, can I say your beats are good and then... Okay, well, the, the thing is that in terms of creativity, it's obviously subjective. Uh, but I've had people tell me in the past that uh, it inspires their creativity. Who, who are these people? Um, well, right. there's some people in the room who do this. And on top of that, the people I've been working with in the past. Uh, but what is not subjective is actually the technical aspect of it, which uh, truly shows as everything is properly right. leveled, everything's clean. And has any of your beats been used by recording artists at the moment? Is there anything in the as charts? Well as no, not, a, not yet. No. But that is something that I am looking into. As I was saying, I'm, uh, I am planning on working with artists. I'm going to be engineering their whole process of the album. And this is already in the making. It's just that I don't have anything yet to show. Do you think it's quite niche, you just making the music? Wouldn't it make more sense to pull in other established producers to kind of broaden the palette and actually say, this is the most, this is the best of the best, as opposed to here's one person it doing that's it. Actually that 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 yes. really that's actually something that actually something that I have already been uh, in discussion with a couple other artists cool. who are also um, considered upcoming, but uh, they also have labels looking at them and saying, wow, these people are actually good. Uh, a couple of my friends who also are, uh, I forgot what the label is that one of my friends is working with, but I will be looking into also hosting his beats 
as well. So I will be looking into actually turning it from myself, which is the current state it's at, into a, a wider range um, project, including multiple artists, to really um, make a proper brand of professionality and uh, possibly even a new industry standard. So in terms of you and your competitors, what makes you different? Like, Why is your music better than, than other people that make beats? Okay, so the thing is that at the, at the moment, <laughs> at the moment, uh, the people who are we're marketing towards are people who do not have the most professional equipment themselves. So if you then have people who do not have professionally mixed beats, uh, you know, if they record on top of that, then it's just gonna it's gonna make the overall product seem a lot less professional than it would with a beat from us. Thank you very much. Thank you Round very much. Round of applause, please.